There are five basic components or pillars of flash photography. These five factors or pillars give you a range of exposure control over both your subject and your background. Understanding how to use these components in conjunction with each other is absolutely key if you want to get good consistent photos. It's not just about light, it's about having control of the light. If you can just grasp and master the first two components, aperture and shutter speed, and how they work together, you will be light years ahead of many who call themselves professional photographers. So what is aperture? So what is aperture? Aperture is just simply a hole or an opening which allows light to reach your sensor. If I use this lens as an example, what I'll do is I'll open it up to its widest aperture, which is its smallest f-stop number. For this lens, 1.2. This lens is wide open. This is the most amount of light that this lens will allow my sensor to receive. Now, if I were to shut it down to its smallest aperture, notice the numbers go up to f-16. We have a small, tiny hole. Now we're only allowing a small amount of light to reach the sensor. Aperture controls the flash exposure on your subject, and here's why. Flash happens at just a fraction of a second. Aperture controls the amount of light falling on the sensor. If we were in a totally dark room and I fired off my flash, and I left my shutter open for 10 seconds, but the flash only takes about a ten thousandth of a second to fire and be gone, why in the world would I need to leave my shutter open any longer than a ten thousandth of a second? See, if I left my shutter open for 10 seconds or 10 minutes, it wouldn't make any difference. By opening or closing my aperture, I can control how much light that I allow to reach that sensor in that ten thousandth of a second. I like to think of flash like a shotgun blast. When you fire a shotgun, pellets leave the gun and start spreading out. They pass by and they're gone. If you think of the light leaving your flash just like the pellets from the shotgun, well, once they leave and pass by, there's nothing more behind it. And this all happens in like a ten thousandth of a second. But by controlling the f-stop, I control the exposure of the flash on the subject and only allow a certain amount of light to reach my sensor. This is how aperture controls the light that falls on your subject from your flash. 